best for your face well when it comes to knowing what type of makeup to use if it's good if it works best for your face or not there's no better duo to test out those theories than Debbie Mentonopoulos and Kim Douglas Bam. Bam. yes oh, dynamic oh, duo really? oh, yeah. oh, look at that. we have, have a secret they handshake have a thing. too we learned, we, learned it from, we learned it from, <laughs> from our, Danny yes from our oh, secret from Danny. he oh. gave us all Danny I, I, showed us I, I want to get it it's knife. like this Bam. Bam. Right. all right That's you show right. me a secret handshake later on yeah okay come in here with us so you learn about makeup. Come on. Come on, Danny. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Come on, Come on. Come on. You know, things you need to know on the yes. main streets of Los Angeles. Exactly. That's right. It's all about makeup. But there are certain rules we have to follow, right? Yes. All right. Well, when applying our basic makeup to our eyes and face. So basically, yes. we've teamed together because, you know, I'm always on the red carpet and I see all these celebrities and they're doing a lot of different things. They're either doing a matte eyeshadow or they're doing a creamy eyeshadow. And Kim knows why and knows the best face to put it on. So that's why we are together today. I you see. Yeah. What Andy and I were talking about this earlier. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. That's so yeah. weird. Clearly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Whether you're going to wear matte or. Yeah. Well, I creamy. think you're more of a creamy. And I see and I think you're more of a look like that, then I got makeup. Oh, you are so <laughs> cute. All right, we're going to start like? with our first picture. It's Mila Kunis yes. Yes. and Selena Gomez. Of course. So as you can see, if you can see on the left side, that's Selena Gomez. And she has a cream lid. Can you see it's kind of, it pops. It looks more dewy and it looks wet mm -hmm. on the right side uh, Mila Kunis is matte see how right. it's not quite as shiny as Selena's mm. so and, and Mila is a bit older than Selena a lot of young mm. girls on the red carpet do this cream and the older girls do the matte right. but Why? again it's but not there's, it's, there's no, not wrong it's either yeah, this, this or that, or that this and or that. here's what we want to tell you so if you do have a drier skin do you consider yourself dewy or dry oh I think he's oh dewy. I have to wait for this he's dewy. Dewy. I'm dewy. I'm dewy. right away yeah. well oily oilier lids should stick to the matte because that's going to keep it you know, hold that color. And then if you have a drier lid, you can go with the cream because it's going to add a little bit more dewy and you can look a little bit more like Danny, which mm -hmm. I think is gorgeous. And also, but it doesn't matter about age. Yeah, it really matter. is just your preference. Your preference. <laughs> it's your preference. Okay. Well, it's doesn't the, the dewy stuff, if you have oily skin and you use the cream, it gets into the creases? Sometimes it can. And yeah. sometimes it helps with not making it look creasy because it distracts a little bit because you have. Because there's luminescence in it. So right. It pops it so you can't really see. Yeah, and you don't want to do frost. You want to do oh, no. just the, a little yeah, bit I, more of a shine. What do we do now about our cheeks? Oh, well, okay, the, the oh, cheeks. Fine. Okay, either you can put it on the just, apple of your cheeks right. or you can do in your the contour in your cheekbone. Here's so here on the left, we have Leah Michelle, and she's got a lot of contour. Look at that. You yeah. see that deep V in her cheeks. It kind of makes her look gaunt. It really thins out her face. Then on the right, we have Emma Watson, youthful, young, dewy again. And look at on the apples of her cheeks. She's just taking that blush and gone. Bam! Right on the apples. It looks really young and fresh. We're on the left one. It looks more sophisticated. But again, one's right. not right. The other's not wrong. It's just this what, or that. So, so the apple. So is that where the same comes from? Apples of your cheeks. cheeks. Right. Yeah. So, so it's like, it looks how do you like, like apples? How do you like them apples? Is oh, that what no. that means? Right. When no. You, no. That was I, no, I, yeah. I thought. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the origin of these Is it this yeah. or is it that? Now, if you do, here's what you should consider, ladies, when you are applying your blush. If you have strong, angular features, you want to put it on the apple of your cheeks because it's going to soften the face. If you have a wide, big, round face, you want to add what no. Leah Michelle did, which is more of the contour because that's going to go like this, Danny. There you mm -hmm. go. That's yeah. going to add a little mm -hmm. bit more angles to your yeah. face. Mm -hmm. And we can all yeah. see that with Danny and mm -hmm. how gorgeous he is. Mm -hmm. And Mark, of course. See? Yeah, you guys look, look like, like fish. Yeah, you really do. You look like Nemo. Yeah. Okay. I was what do I do? more blue steel. Okay. Yeah. Well, they're, they're showing us their lips now. What do we do yeah. about our and lips? And finally, last but not yeah. least, you know, everybody loves a beautiful, Please full, juicy no looking lip. No, no this no. has no. nothing to do with injections. Yeah. As you see on the left, that's Emma Stone. She is wearing a layered look, which is very classic, very common. Basically, you put a lip liner, you put a, um, a lipstick, and then you put a gloss on top, which most women know how to do, and that's how we do it. Then on the right side, you see mixed. That's Cher Lloyd. Ombre. Okay, yes. well, it oh, is. It mixed is, is an ombre. Way. It's newer. It's more current. This is on the red carpet a lot. A lot of young girls are doing this mixed look right now. It's a degradation of right. color. So it's dark on the outside, and it goes lighter up until you get to your, like, basically your lip line. 
around to your teeth. Right. But and it's can, also very difficult to wear, so you've got to be careful. Yeah. yeah, I think that's a little bit more for the younger sect. There's a new kind of system out now. It's called Kylie Lips, and it's a little more matte and the very dark. And that's a little rough to wear unless you well, are in your older, 20s. older, it makes you look older. It does, for sure. But I'd look at least 35. Five. Can we do it to your lips? <laughs> we did. So you can kind of see on my lips, one side has a stronger liner. Can you see uh -huh. that? Mm -hmm. And then we just did the liner, and then the other side is just more of a mixing. So Marty, our makeup artist, Marty Fox, did a, just a base, and then she added another I layer. I like the top layer. It looks yeah. very full. And then she added mm -hmm. more color. Mm -hmm. So you get to just do whichever is right for you. Again, oh, and you could sure see that. Um, yeah, you could actually see the difference. Contour. Look at that now. See yeah. that the apple and look at the contour. So Danny, is it yeah. this or is it that? Or is it that? Which one? It's this and that. Oh. <laughs>